Have you ever done advent calendar before Christmas? In the previous years, my kids done chocolate advent calendar. But this year, I want to do something more meaningful. And I thought of, why not to do a book advent calendar? So I got my Amazon order, and I have all my books ready, and I'm going to wrap them all up and put them in a basket for my kids. We are starting just today, and it is Monday, and there is exactly two weeks until Christmas. So I decided we can always do 12 days before Christmas. And that's how much books I bought. To be honest with you, I couldn't do 25 days before Christmas because I, then I would be just completely bankrupt before Christmas. Books are expensive. But I have another option for you. If you don't want to spend that much money, you can always try and get those books in the library. All right, let's see what's in the box and I'll start from the younger ages and I'll finish with older ages. Christmas book advent calendar. And the first book is Cozy. Jen Brad has a most beautiful and cute books. She's done a lot of classical stories and tales, and she interpreted them in her own way. So this one is Cozy. It's about Musk Ox, who is lonely in the winter, but not for long. Little animals gather around him and ask him if they can spend winter in his Cozy fur. And he, of course, agrees. And I want you to see these beautiful and cute pictures. So now I'm talking about from toddlers to, let's say, grade two. And I'm sorry for the shaking of the camera. There is no earthquake, honestly. I don't know what's going on. This is another cutie from your Walt Zomer. And he doesn't need a lot of introduction because you know his other books. He's done a big series of ocean and plants and animals. And this is his winter edition. A thing called snow. This is the one of the illustrations. Two friends are traveling and they are very new to the world, so they see snow for the first time. Another one, if you would like to have more Christmas-oriented, would be the tree that meant to be. Number three is the flare chair and a snowflake Christmas. You probably know another book like that. It's a flare chair and fall, but this one is just a winter edition. Very warm story about the little fox. Now, if you're doing Spanish this year, this book was not your beauty and it would be a great fit for your family. This is a story with Spanish words in it and it's Christmas-oriented. This book tells you about Mexico tradition and how they celebrate Christmas in their country. This book not exactly winter oriented or Christmas oriented but it's a very warm and beautiful story and events happening in the winter and I just love to add this book to my collection. I picked this edition with a fabric cover and it has original pictures too. Now from the library I got this book The Nutcracker. There is different editions and different authors interpreted differently but this one I found in my library and it was very nicely done. So this is The Nutcracker by Anne Lacey amazing illustrations and very very nicely done Peter Rabbit Christmas is coming so this book is made as an advent calendar too you can read one story a day in the beginning you will see content done in the form of calendar this book is just nice to have it's so beautiful too I never have seen this book before and I really wanted my children to have it now this book I also got in the library and this is about what happened during the World War one on Christmas Day all the fighting stopped and the soldiers celebrated Christmas in trenches. The story is done by grandpa who talking to his grandchildren and also there is a disc so someone can read this story to you. Now this book is very popular on homeschoolers. This is a book to read also as an advent and this is a story, fiction of course, about people or children who are doing some traveling or in some sort of adventure and eventually they meet newborn Christ. So this book divided into four weeks and there is additional week for a week of reading right before Christmas. Another chapter book is a collection of stories and tales about Christmas or winter. This is a collection of classical authors such as Louisa May Alcott, Hans Christian Andersen, Lewis Carroll, Charles Dickens or Henry, Montgomery, Louis Stevenson, Harriet Beecher Stowe, etc. Lots of stories. 32 classical stories and poems for young and old. Now this little chapter book is very fun. My girls loved it last year and I just purchased it to, to have it on a shelf. This is uh, The True Gift by Patricia McLachlan. Very easy for younger children to read because it's a large print and it's not very overwhelming. Lots of dialogues and it's just a good message. All right and then last two from the picture books. This is more like of a historical fiction and this is the year of the perfect Christmas tree. This one is about immigrants from Poland who immigrate into America and when they finally arrive after a hard trip they celebrate Christmas together. 
And the year of the perfect tree is a book about a little girl and her father who has to go to war. So these two are very great stories. And the last but not least, this is devotional for older kids that I'm recommending. This is by Sinclair Ferguson, A Love Came Down on Christmas. Well, that's what we are doing for our advent calendar this year. I'll post all these books in the description below and if you want to check your library, please do so.